be gone. What's popping? It's going down in the life of a Capricorn between the 1st and the 15th of December. Yes, yes, Mocha is late. I apologize. I had shit going on myself. Hey, boo, hey. If this is your first time viewing my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, I cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find one of the other beautiful readers on YouTube who can resonate with you better without the cuss words, okay? Uh, to all of my new returning subscribers, hey family, hey booze, hey. I hope that you guys have survived these retrograde shifts because I, y'all, it's been real on my end. I'm accepting every tower moment that will build me later. And Capricorn, you know this more than I do because you see the visualiz vis visualizations of the signs of greater. All right, so let's get it. Um, for all the likes, shares, subscribes, comments, y'all read every comment. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for opening your hearts to allow me to share my love, wisdom, and light with you all. I truly appreciate it. You could have never told me we would have grown this fast this year, so I'm grateful for that. This is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal reading, that information will be found in the description, okay? This will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Capricorn between now and the 15th of December, and we're going to rock, okay? So I'm going to start off with my intuitive messages for you guys. Y'all know how I get down. I meditate. I get out in nature. Or if I can't get out in nature, I'll just close myself off sometime, even in the bathroom, in the damn tub, and just simply pull back and just meditate on your energy before I crank it. And what I got for the sign of Capricorn for you all, and please take these vibrations, these energies as they resonate. Okay, they may not resonate with everybody, but if I picked up, if I'm going to be able to pick up your energy on this list, please take it resonate, resonate, resonates. Oh my gosh, what's going on? My throat chakra needs a break. I've been trying to give it one. So let's get it. Capricorn, I got lessons, preparation, legacy, surprises. Soul contract, ascension, forward movement, balance, compassion, separation, children, healer, life purpose, letting go, controlling, entrepreneur, fortune, new love, karmic, decisions, health, focus, rest, forgiveness, family, truth, engagement, mediator temper stability and renewal okay so that's what i got intuitive intuitively for um my sign of capricorn y'all know how i get i get into meditation mode and i begin to write and whatever i end up with that is what i bring forth to you okay so we're going to start off with your spirit messages folks be like look what is a spirit a spirit message has to do with your inside part okay that is what you need to work on internally. It's about soul evolution, soul growth, not the situations on the circ on the surface, okay? And that's what we all tend to forget when listening to tarot, which is why in 2019 I'm gonna do a little switch it up. I'm gonna do a little switching up. I'm gonna drop separate readings versus me um just focusing on letting go uh divorces and things of that nature. I'm just really gonna focus on the evolution of the soul, okay? So y'all, we family. I love y'all. And I really want to see you win. And during this time, Capricorn, I see a lot of you guys are making decisions that best suits you. And you got to trust the process. Keep going. Okay? During this time, I asked Spirit, what is the root of the Spirit message? I got the Eight of Pentacles. Progression. Moving forward. Working, putting your hard work into something not for the, for another person, but for yourself and the focus and the goal and the aim of that damn target that you see. It's not for everybody else to understand. During this time, a lot of you all will be looking at yourself from a new perspective. You're gaining a new perspective during this time. You're going to be putting in that work in yourself. Whereas once... You know, you were looking for others to validate your beauty or validate your worth or validate what it is that they feel that you deserve Capricorn during this time. You're going to be focused on seeing the beauty within and recognizing the beauty within and be grateful for that. You're going to be able to see things from a new light. Spirit is trying to show you the beauty within yourself because a lot of you all have lost yourself in other people. And Spirit say, uh-uh, uh-uh, come back. Let me show you. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most loving 
nurturing, caring, practical, strategic, loyal, one of them all. Me. I am. I am. Spirit says, yes, you are. The way that you see certain things, circumstances, situations, people, places, and things, you're going to be able to see things from a whole new light. For some of you all, you're getting ready to possibly birth a child. And I feel like for those of you who are getting ready to birth a child, this child is going to bring in a new perspective and the way that you see things. For some of you all, it may even shift the way that you even see relationships that you currently entertain. And I'm going to say entertain because let's be real, for quite some time, to be honest with you, I've been seeing Capricorn who've been in marriages and relationships by their fucking self. So let's just get real. The way that you see yourself, you're going to be able to see beauty even in the midst of nothingness. And if you have to take a move or make a move for your damn self, it's for you to look at it from a perspective, from a, from a sense of gratitude. I'm grateful for that time that I was in that marriage. I'm grateful for that time that I was alone. And I'm grateful for that time because one, I got to know me and two, I got to know what it is that I got to know what it is that I love, what it is that fulfills me. And I'm in tune with what the hell I feel that my life purpose is going to be. And it may not make everybody happy. But it's from the perspective that you're looking at it from. Everybody is not going to be happy for you. You have to understand that and see things from a certain situation. I mean, see things from a certain perspective to understand how to be your own star player. And even in the midst of turbulent situations. And be true to what it is that you want. For some of you all, I'm hearing tradition. So maybe your perspective is about a particular traditional belief that could be influencing a marriage or influencing you moving forward on a relationship is going to shift. There's a birth happening. For some of you, literal. Congratulations. Mocha love the kids. <laughs> but for some of you all, it's internal. There's an internal birth. Like the phoenix riding, rising out of the ashes. Something beautiful and worth fighting for. Even if it's for your damn self and by yourself. There is beauty being birthed. You just have to see it. From not a place of where you've been. And if you're going to take it from a place of where you've been. Be willing to see it for what it is. Even if you don't like it. It's the acknowledgement. The realness. Within your damn self. What suits me? What will birth the best, most beautiful, blessing bestowed being within myself? That will move me towards greater heights, towards the highest of the highest pentacle. And everybody can't fucking come and I accept that. Progression. During this time, a lot of you all are going to be taking off the mask. I feel that some of you all have this inner knowing. You've already seen people, places, things for what the fuck they are, but it's like you don't want to see it because of your own comfort. God did not wake you up to be mediocre. Period. And if that's what the fuck you wake up on and want to move on in life, you need to take that mask off and shift your perspective and be willing to see the shit that you're moving amongst. And be true to yourself. Does this truly suit me or not? Nah? Am I happy or not? Nah? Is this motherfucker full of shit or not? Nah? Do people love me because of what I got and what I can do or do they love me for my true being or not? Nah? Take the damn mask off. And for some of you all with finding out this truth and coming to clarity internally because your crown chakra for a lot of you all are going to be is going to be on fire. You're going to be receiving massive downloads, possibly through your dreams that I'm also seeing. Some of you all are going to be dreaming solutions, yet you're only holding on to the hurt and situations because of the work and the effort that you've put in. You're looking at it as a loss. But if you've taken what you've learned and all of this damn hurt and you learn how to turn your L's into lessons and accept the blessings that spirit is trying to bestow onto you and move upright within the self because you know better. You know, to accept better. For some of you all, there's a huge focus on your sacral chakra. You're really needing to get in tune or, or, or kind of align 
your sacral chakra or your sacral chakra will be aligning during this time. But your third eye is wide open. And so you're able to see things, situations, not just the surface situations. And I'm literally hearing demons. Some of y'all going to literally see somebody's fucking demon. Are you going to stay or are you you going to play? You're going to play on the devil's battleground or you're going to hit the door and run for cover because spirit giving you a chance to get low. Some of you all are going to be in this place of learning about your roots. For some of you all, your ancestral roots have healing attached to them. So if you have this life purpose or this dream, okay, or you know it in your soul that you are a healer, move towards it because spirit is going to bless you if only you trust it. There's this need to balance the masculine and the feminine energies within yourself to not just re down to receive the creative ideas and the pursuits and which way to go from your feminine energy, but to act on it and put the action and the pursuits and the momentum in it with your masculine. Some of you all are learning about different love spells during this time. And I feel like you you have the want to help other people. For some of you all, you're learning about curing um, illnesses with, I'm hearing holistic, so illnesses with maybe herbs and things of that nature. Some of you all are going to be learning about shifting, um, shifting your eating patterns or shifting everything about you during this time is shifting. Through the whole month of December, we're going through a shift because of January, we're going to see a whole new damn Capricorn. I got a new fucking attitude. Okay? We ain't taking none of the bullshit from 2018 into the new year. We're going to stop. We're going to shut the goddamn door, lock that motherfucker and throw away the key. Do you understand me? Let's see what spirit has to say in love. It's about progression. Progression for the self. Not that of others. And it's not selfish to put you first. It's about damn time, Capricorn. Let's see what spirit has to say in love. Yeah. Capricorn, the way that you look at soulmate relationships is going to be shifting. Some of you all, some of y'all been playing in the devil's den with somebody for quite some time, especially if it includes a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you all have a new beginning in love, but you're not willing to shift your views, especially when I'm, I'm keep hearing traditional, your traditional views of looking at things. You've been raised to believe a certain thing, and it's really contradicting your happiness. And what spirit is trying to pull you from. A lot of y'all have an issue with letting go. Or this could be someone in your external. But can't nobody make you. If can't nobody make you stay in not a bitch ass place you don't want to be. Let me say it again for the people in the back. <clears throat> can't nobody make you stay in no bitch ass place that you don't want to be. If you don't want to be there and you ain't happy. If they ain't got a gun what you stand for. Hmm. Hmm. I know y'all like mochas on our ass. You know why? Because I see the great in you. I know many Capricorns. My daddy is Capricorn. I love Capricorns. And one thing I know, y'all will put up with shit until there is no more shit to put up with. And so spirit is going to be throwing a little catalytic situation to y'all ass to make you make a decision and put you in the coma. Love is not control. Love is not possessive. Love is not calling and checking up on a person every two hours because you don't trust them. You don't trust them, but you lay a, you lay with them unprotected. So you don't trust them enough with your heart, but you trust them enough with your life. What side of the fence you going to stand on? And if this is happening to you, people need to use common sense is a gift. Folks got to utilize it. And I know damn well I'm not talking to Capricorn about common sense because y'all play it. Y'all wrote the script of it. If it don't make practical, if it don't make practical sense, it don't make money. It don't make shifts to you. But there is a new, there is different perspectives on looking at things. True indeed. And you're going to find that out during this time. Some of you all could be dealing with a marriage during this time. Some of you all could also be dealing with legal issues, which could be blocking your progression in love or dealing with the soulmate who is having legal issues. And they could be releasing themselves, um, or they could be going through a divorce during this time. Some of you all are married, but you could possibly be, let's say you're married to a Libra for some of you all, or an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because they're all here. But intuitively, you know that you're supposed to be in this soul connection with this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You guys have a soul contract and a soul tie. But for some of you, you've never known this. 
For some of you, you've never known if you could be independent by yourself. You've never known not to need anyone or have anyone there. And so this nine of pentacles, this flourishing, this independence, this move after progression, you're afraid of it for some of you all. And intuitively, spirit is yanking you from your comfort zone. The hurt that I feel right now, even with how far we've got in this video, the hurt, I'm very empathic, y'all. The hurt that I feel, someone is beating themselves up in fear of their own success because they only know how to dance in the devil's den because they were raised to feel that no matter what happens, what happens or what goes on in the marriage, you stay. So even if a person is cheating on me, lying on me, beating my ass, I'm supposed to stay? If my heart gets to a point where it's so heavy that I look at this person and I can't stand their ass, I'm appreciative for the lessons that they bought me, but I can't stand their ass. I'm supposed to stay? So God gave us free will, but this, people, this, but this piece of paper says, be unhappy and stand bullshit, so I'm supposed to stay? Because God said, if you truly hear me in your heart, if you truly connected with me, you praying in vain if you don't choose to sit your ass still. Yeah, I might be fussing because I called the spirit of Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron, and Mehesiah up in this boy. Not only do I have your, your level of, not only do I have the Archangels that you are aware of, but look a little deeper. I'm a warrior of light. My birthday is April 12th. Mehesiah and Metatron, we work damn well, very close together. Understand this. I'm going to say it. Because somebody needs to say it. And it's not about the surface situation. Oh, I've been married to that person. Oh, this is wifey. Oh, that's hubby. Oh, this, this. It's an expectation that you've been taught. But just like you shifted your mind from tradition to come and even be here watching my videos. Because <laughs> I was raised in a Christian home. That doesn't mean I, I'm not aware of the laws of, or that doesn't mean that I'm not aware of, um, the relig different religions as far as Judaism, Hinduism. I used to deal with a Mormon. I almost married a Hebrew Israelite. Also, I almost married a damn, uh, a damn Jew who celebrates Hanukkah. So you can't tell me about what the will, what's within your will, because if you put in limitations and caps the limitations on the on the on your level of expansion, baby, you'd even you 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 you're not even allowing yourself to truly be the great that God woke you up to be. Ain't no caps on life. We put them there. Sky is not the limit. It's a whole bunch of fucking dimensions going down up in there. You understand? Some of us have yet to know about them, motherfuckers, because we have the belief of this one way. Or this two-way street with one fucking lane in it. On both sides. Let's rock. Some of y'all have a new beginning with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you were questioning, yes, this person is your soulmate. But some of y'all, this person has a lot of options. But some of you all, you have a lot of options. But you're choosing to stay in the midst of someone who, first off, y'all really have fast communicate. The offer is half fast. Some of you all need to take the mask off and really see your heart, your heart, and listen to it and where it wants to go. But some of you all, you could be trying to make an offer to fix or possibly renew a relationship with the air sign, uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You could be married to this person. I feel that someone wants to hit the reset button, okay? Someone actually wants to, yeah, Capricorn, this could be you wanting to start a new beginning. But you wanted to start a new beginning and you wanted to see all these beautiful shit, all these beautiful shifts in the midst of some toxic shit. The offer is half ass. Some of y'all have another Capricorn making you an offer. Some of you all, it's a Virgo or a Taurus. But I feel like your main focus is on stability and not only on the external, but within yourself. Harmony. Some of you all, I'm going to be honest with you. 
the reason why you're not able to move forward financially, and this is for some people who I'm talking to, not everybody. The reason why you're not able to move forward financially is because you're dealing with a fuck boy or a fuck girl who's only there for your money. God not finna bless the snake. God not finna keep giving you the damn venom to get a snake to bite you with. Trust the process. Somebody want to let them go, let they ass go and tell them thank you. <laughs> thank you. For some of you all, you definitely, some of y'all going to find out you're pregnant during this time. Congratulations. Some of y'all could actually be birthing children. But I feel like in the midst of this newness coming in your world, you really want to communicate the things that really matter to you, okay? You really want to communicate. Look here. We'll see that situation. Some of y'all going to be sitting your partner down. This is what truly fulfills me. This is where I see myself in five years, okay? And for some of you all, you're starting something new with the cancer, okay? Some of you all could actually be pregnant by a cancer. Congratulations. For some of you all, you have a cancer that's wanting to actually approach you and start something new. For some of you all, this is a twin flame to you, okay? And for some of you all, it's a Pisces. You really want to have, this is this is, this is this this new love, new shmoney, new opportunities. Everything. In fact, I'm going to call y'all new new for the new year. Do you understand? Because Spirit is trying to give you all new in the midst of you healing after you heal yourself internally. And for some of you all, you're simply needing to close out this cycle. Some of you all need to close out a cycle with a damn Leo. For some of you all, it's the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, there is new love in a Leo or a water sign. Some of y'all have an earth sign that ain't shit. I'm going to straight up tell you, I feel like you love this person, but... And there is so much love, there is so much passion, there is even practicality. But where is the fulfillment? Where is the compromise? Where is the communication? Where is the communication? Spirit, why is the justice card here? Let me do some clarifying. I know y'all like, oh, she clarifying and everything. She ain't clarifying a long time. No, I'm getting to the bottom of this shit. Because I need to see y'all happy in 2019. You fucking deserve it. Yeah, some of y'all have a fire sign that you could be married to that's being very defensive towards you or defensive uh, against the idea of marriage because this person has a soulmate relationship between you and another that they have to choose from. This person wants this new beginning. However, they're unsure about marriage. Some of y'all are loving somebody and expecting love from somebody who, I'm, thank you, spirit. Some of y'all are trying to love someone who has mother issues that they need to sort out because they have been living with that baggage and going into relationships with that baggage. And they really don't know how to give you what it is that you're expecting from this person because they've never had it. Their upbringing was fucked up. That could also be the reason why I was hearing traditional. There's definitely conversations needed to be having. Some of y'all have a towel moment coming. Just like I said, damn, I'm good. Some of y'all have a towel moment coming. Okay, this could be around the next full moon cycle, which I feel is after, and it after, um, y'all got to tell me the next full moon cycle, I should have did it live, um, but I tried to do y'all, supposed to do y'all live, but technology wasn't agreeing with me, so I couldn't make y'all wait forever, okay, so we're going to have to get this shit out here, we're going to have to let these Capricorns know what it is, but some of you all have, um, a cycle going to be ending with the tower moment, okay? So truth and clarity could be coming out, shaking foundations and shaking shit up, okay? Somebody's everything that's done under the sun. Anybody got secrets right now is coming out. Capricorn, some of you all are going to be able to recognize the toxicity around your marriage during this time. And you need to make a decision. Do I stay with this tower shit keep happening? Or do I go be flourishing? Do I go flourish and go Chase my dreams, chase my life purpose, focus on my health, my wealth, what I see as abundance, my fulfillment. I ain't trying to die with no woulda, coulda, shouldas. Who does that? High priestess. Why is the high priestess here? Yeah, intuitively, y'all already know. Capricorn, some of you guys could have intuitively felt something about an Aries or a Virgo person. Some of you all could actually be having intuition, um, could it be having intuitive dreams regarding your children. Especially if you have a fire sign child, Aries, some of you all, um, or a Virgo child. Some of you all could intuitively know that you're supposed to be with an Aries, even though you're married possibly to a um to an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or to a um to a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. For some of y'all it's fire. Yeah. For some of you all during this time, you're gonna be healing. Truly healing from the deceptive bullshit that you've overcome. Yes, I said it. Did you hear me? From the deceptive bullshit that you over.
come. You will push through because spirit got you. Whether you believe you're going to push through or not, that's on you. But no, spirit got you from deceptive bullshit. For some of y'all, it's healing from a deceptive ass air sign who ultimately wanted to be single, but I feel like they may not do it in the right way. Capricorn, understand. Some of y'all may come home to somebody who have completely moved out in a damn Dear John letter because of the coward that lives within, within them. But respect your strength. Respect it. Put some respect on your own self, on your own name. And stop looking for people to validate what you are, who you are, who you should be to them to make them happy for things to work. Because a relationship is the tools of y'all. And if the tools of y'all don't agree on some shit, <clears throat> we need to maybe uh, reconsider the ship. Think about it. What is this two of cups here for? Why is the two of cups here with the ace of wands for my cap? Yeah. Some of y'all have. A new beginning waiting. A soulmate relationship. This could be with a fire sign. Maybe this person is being defensive towards you with moving forward because you're married, okay? Even though there is so much love, this person has self-worth for some of y'all. And for some of you, it's you. For some of you all, it could be someone that's married, a fire sign that's married, or a water sign that's married. There's definitely a marriage blocking the new beginning. <clears throat> and it's the, whatever marriage this is blocking the new beginning, it's a toxic one, might I add, Okay? Not everybody have toxic relationships, and everybody ain't fucking cheating. If this does not apply, let it fly. For some of you all, you're leaving someone out in the cold because possibly they had other options, okay? Or maybe someone left you out in the cold because they could have found out that you had other options, but both of you all have places to be. Cap uh, Capricorn, some of you all are dealing with the sign of Cancer. Uh, some of you all are dealing with the sign of Leo, and this person has a twin flame just as you do. And this is the union that you're standing in the way of, but understand it's a divine union. That means divine intervention will take place. Some of you all are finally going to accept that new beginning and take that cup of love, and things will move slowly with this person. This could be a water sign or a fire sign. I don't feel, I don't feel um, that with this union, things are going to be moving fast. So don't love with an expectation because whomever this is that you're loving on or accepting new love from, they've also had some tower moments. They've also had to heal. And they also have learned about making impulse decisions that could possibly leave your ass feeling like you you, you in bondage, to be honest. And ain't nobody had, ain't nobody got you locked the fuck up but your mind. This is why this, this, this new perspective and the way that you see yourself and others is coming. The change starts within you first. Then can you um, hurdle the karmic, the karmic avenues and the karmic situations and circumstances that you are moving through. And I keep keep in mind, I keep saying hurdle because I'm speaking that. I'm speaking that greatness in your world. And some of y'all need to do the same thing. You're stronger than what you give yourself credit for. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, for some of you all, this could be you or another person. Trying to hold on to, to trying to hold on to the situation, trying to hold on to a Gemini Libra Aquarius, or your or, or this person trying to hold on to you for possibly some type of financial tie, or possibly controlling them uh, with money or something of that nature. They could be doing this to you, but that cycle is ending. You could be dealing with the Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or um, a Scorpio as well. But I feel like the relationship is toxic. Someone wants to hold on to this toxic shit. Some of y'all could be cutting off an earth sign. You really want to move forward and see is that truly what you want in life, okay? But some of you all, it's about progression. Progression within the self. If you ain't never stood alone, how you know you can't take care of yourself? You ain't never gave yourself that option. But some of you all, you're moving forward to being single, okay? You're just moving forward. Move, some of y'all, you could be moving forward away from a cancer or a fire sign. But I feel like you will flourish. You will build. You will be independent and you will be victorious. But you have to believe that. Why is this devil card here? Why is this devil card here? Yeah. Some of y'all in toxic ass family situations. Yes, yeah, secure. Yes, yeah, sturdy. But God say so you think that's good if you just trust me. I got something better. I got something better for you. For those of you who, who've been thinking about starting a business, get out your own damn head. Stop doubting yourself. Spirit says you got the okay. Go for it. It's time to run. It's time to move. It's time to shift. Don't think about it. Be about it. Do that shit. Have the strength. Be courageous and do that shit. But some of you all with the sun card, 
being here. Some of y'all could be working on a relationship possibly with the Leo person or with the fire sign. And I feel like you just there's need, there's a need for clear boundaries to be set. But this relationship can actually progress and move forward with the sense of newness. However, I feel that for some of y'all, there's going to be a birth of children and a, a birth of a child. Okay. And I feel like this birth is going to move things forward in a mature way. For some of you all, because I felt like this baby is going to bring the ability to compromise with another. And this baby is going to bring the understanding and the patience that you need to build those healthy relationships, to put that work in. If you're an argumentative person and you're just simply trying to argue to get your damn point across, there is a healthy way to communicate without cutting somebody ass up. And some of y'all are going to have to work on that. And that could involve a relationship with the Leo, okay? Especially if you have children with this person. There's a need to set healthy, clear understanding boundaries why is the chariot card here some of y'all definitely dealing with a cancer some of y'all if you got secrets they coming out especially if they involve a pisces yeah some of y'all are moving towards or away from a fire sign some of y'all are moving towards stability with the leo okay or a soulmate relationship with the leo some of y'all are moving away from them due to communication issues argument argument arguments all the damn time and again they go with my damn progression some of y'all are progressing your progressing within the self. How do how how is it that I communicate that causes these arguments? What is it within myself that I can shift to have better relationships, more healthy relationships with people? Even if I gotta start the fuck over when it comes to the people. What can I fix within myself? Why does this energy, why is this energy so imperative to my growth? What is it that I can progress? For some of you all, you're progressing. You're wanting to progress with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. For some of you all, it's with the fire sign. And for some of you all, it's how you communicate with others and how you allow others to communicate with you. How can I set these clear, healthy boundaries, okay? Yeah, some of you all are healing from an Aquarian person. Some of you all are healing so that you can be in this place to take action on manifesting what it is that you truly want to do, what it is that truly fulfills you. you pouring that love into your own damn cup and knowing that with myself, myself ain't going to leave me because sometimes you got to understand, you, we beat ourselves up, oh, this person wasn't there for me, oh, this person is, even your shadow will leave you when it's dark, you got to have your own self. Some of y'all are going to victoriously take an offer. Uh, some of y'all have an earth sign trying to make you an offer. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be an offer to help you, okay? But for some reason, some of y'all intuitively don't trust this person. Some of y'all are. Some of y'all have an offer coming from a Scorpio person. But this offer is still coming half fast, so you're going to have to move forward and keep it moving without it. No, I'm good. I'm good, love. Enjoy. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yep. For some of you all, you manifested this happiness. You've been asking God. To remove everything and everybody that does not serve you. You've been asking for real unconditional love and you about to get it. You about to get it. It's not what's happening on the outside, but what's happening on the inside. What do you believe? What are your intentions? What is your focus? What is the mission? What the fuck is your target? For some of you, it's love. For some of you, it's stability. And in order to get that stability, for some of y'all, it's, it's going to come. From a place, some of y'all going to learn how to turn your pain into power. And some of y'all are going to understand that when you work on yourself, what's best for you may not be in the favor of other fucking people. Especially when they were trying to control the outcome. Period. But for some of you all, it's about creation. It's about transformation and recreation. Some of y'all could be transforming, walking away. From the mother of your children, walking away from family situations, walking away from a damn job and going to create your own avenue with your creativity. You're going to take that feminine energy and plan and be strategic about it and put all of your damn dreams right before you. And you're going to take that masculine energy and push through them motherfuckers like you ain't never pushed before. Because you know what it's like to have to recreate from that place. And you didn't face that monster under your bed to understand, scared for what? Who's scared? I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Because actions speak louder than words. Capricorn, you the motherfucking empress. Only thing you need is the strength that's required for you to end the cycle that you've been internally beating yourself up for. 
because ain't nothing on the other side but success. Strength, strength, motivation, courage, ambition, that drive to whatever it is that you're trying to recreate. Because you bring the beauty to things. And it's time for you to show yourself by moving in your next cycle and ascending to new heights, to new pinnacles. It's about you being your own best friend. Fuck if they mad or not. Can they keep up with me though? Did they learn something? I'll tell you what they did learn. Capricorn will be treated with respect, dignity, loyalty, love, compassion, and re fucking selectivity. Because if you can't do it, I'll be, I'll dip. You treat me like a joke, I'ma act like it's funny <laughs> and dip. Okay? So this is what I have for my Capricorns between the first and the fifteenth of December. I love y'all. Get y'all heal on. Never be afraid to make a move and never be worried about what the next motherfucker going to say. They going to talk whether you're doing good or bad. You just got to see it for what it is. It's people shit. That's what people do. Being an evolved being, you have to accept that and understand that people do what you allow them to do. As long as they do a way to fuck over there why I can't hear it and you think you ain't finna stand in my face and disrespect me, we good. Because I can't stop you from feeling how you're feeling or saying what you're going to say. But the respect you're going to give me, I'm going to take that or you're going to give it to me. We could do this the easy way or we could do it the hard way. The choice is yours. <laughs> but I ain't no booty bandit, though. I'm just saying. Think about it. <laughs> I love y'all, Capricorn. Much love, much light, much healing, much abundance. No fear. Hurdle that shit. Namaste. You got it.